Hello everyone, welcome to Afro News South Africa. To support this channel, please kindly subscribe and share. Turn on the notification bell so that you would be notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you all. Dodola movement demonstrations took a surprising turn on Wednesday when a group of women marched topless through the streets of Alex as they chanted slogans for the removal of foreigners' businesses. The anti-immigration group which has been described as xenophobic by law enforcement clashed with foreign business owners again on Wednesday morning. Frustrated by having a close trading female vendor siding with the Dodola movement stripped off their tops and began marching. This came after one local woman had a physical altercation with a Mozambican trader over a space to trade. Clara Mashinga Shinga, one of the participants of what she called a Mapona Pona protest, warned that if the police do not stop the foreigners from trading, they will raise the stakes. Mashinga Shinga said that the women will embark on a panty protest where they will remove all their clothes and only keep their underwear on. Whenever we go to the police, they don't take us seriously, she said. We went to the police who have been monitoring the protest at the mall, but they told us to stop complaining and we must just share the space and continue trading. Mashinga Shinga alleged that a female trader, Takane Sadiki, was manhandled by four men who took her trading space. Scroller Africa spoke to Sadiki, who said if it were not for other people separating the men from attacking her, they would have hurt her. I am going to the police station first thing in the morning to lay criminal charges against the men, she said. Loki Sitole, a Mozambican national, was one of the vendors, told reporters that he wanted to share the space with Sadiki, which is what the police instructed the traders to do. But instead, she turned over my table of tomatoes and scattered them. That's not how we should live, he said. Since Monday, the Dudula movement has been forcibly removing foreign streets vendors and replacing them with their own members. 59-year-old Dudu Kumalo is one of the beneficiaries of the Dudula actions. I am grateful to them. I had nowhere to find income and feed my grandchildren, she said. But for every Dudu Kumola, there is someone else who has been illegally prevented from earning a living. 